In the sweeping expanse of the sun-kissed savanna, where the wilderness thrived under the gentle watch of the azure sky, a unique friendship blossomed between Leo, a noble lion with a mane as golden as the sun itself, and Max, a loyal Labrador who had wandered far from his distant home. Max, with his glossy black coat and warm intelligent eyes, was unlike any creature Leo had ever encountered. He was a domesticated dog far removed from the wild instincts of savanna inhabitants, but possessed a heart just as brave and true. Max had arrived in Leo's territory accidentally separated from a group of human explorers, his presence a curious novelty to the other animal. Leo first spotted Max one serene evening, the Labrador attempting to navigate the rugged, unfamiliar terrain of the savanna. Intrigued by Max's gentle demeanor and his obvious confusion, Leo approached him cautiously. Unlike his encounters with other outsiders, Leo sensed no threat from Max, only a kindred spirit lost in a world so different from his own. Their introduction was a moment of mutual curiosity. Max, undeterred by the lion's intimidating stature, wagged his tail, a gesture of friendship that transcended species. Leo, in turn, was taken by the dog's lack of fear and the loyalty he seemed to carry like a visible aura. Recognizing that Max was far from his pack, Leo took it upon himself to protect the lost Labrador. Over the weeks that followed, their bond deepened. Leo introduced Max to the ways of the savanna, teaching him which berries were safe to eat and how to find water during the driest periods. Max, accustomed to the companionship of humans, stayed close to Leo, his presence a comforting reminder of the bond that can form between the most unlikely of allies. Their daily routines became entwined, with Max learning to listen to the sounds of the savanna under Leo's guidance, how to distinguish a harmless rustle from a warning, and how to read the sky for signs of storm or searing heat. In return, Max offered Leo companionship that was different from any the lion had known. It was a bond formed not out of survival, but out of genuine affection and loyalty. One day their friendship was put to the test when a wildfire swept across the savanna, a roaring inferno driven by fierce winds approached. Leo and Max stood together, the Leo as the flames and using his strength and knowledge of the terrain to guide. Max stayed by Leo's side, his loyalty unwavering even amidst the smoke and chaos. Together, they found refuge by a secluded lake, watching as the fire eventually died down, leaving a charred but calming silence. In the aftermath their bond became a story retold by all who witnessed it. How a lion and a Labrador, creatures from worlds apart, stood by each other through a trial by fire. Max eventually found his way back to his human companions, guided by Leo to the outskirts of the savanna, where the explorers were searching frantically for their beloved dog. The reunion was bittersweet for Leo. He watched as Max rejoined his human pack, the Labrador's tail wagging furiously. Before he left, Max looked back at Leo, his eyes conveying a gratitude and loyalty that needed no word. Leo roared softly, a farewell that echoed across the now peaceful savanna knowing that the bond they had formed would forever remain a part of each other lives a testament to the power of friendship and loyalty even between the unliliest of friends.